Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to cover the horizontal axis or the categories that you see in any chart. Um, you may run into this problem and uh, I want to show you three ways to fix it. And the problem is that you may have overlapping uh, names and categories uh, when your chart gets to be a little too big. Um, and I uh, wanted to show you different ways that you can correct that. Now, um, one of the things there is, I don't know if it's a bug, I guess I'd call it a bug, is some people might come in here and uh, right click on the horizontal axis, do format axis, and then from the dialog box do alignment and rotate your text 270 degrees. Now, that'll work great, um, and you can see uh, the first row or the subdivision up here is rotated vertically. However, if you've got a uh, multi, let's go ahead and show you that setting, multi-level category labels, uh, it will not align the bottom row uh, to that 270 degrees or straight up and down. So it's always gonna remain horizontal on that second layer. So let's show you how you go about the three different ways that you can fix that. Um, number one, uh, you can increase the size of your chart and then Excel will eventually take over and wrap those text values within that um, horizontal category. Now let's go ahead and undo that one. Also, I found that uh, sometimes if you delete the legend, it may give you just enough space or move the legend um, from your uh, layout ribbon, move the legend to show overlay um, somewhere on the chart. But I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this legend by selecting and hitting my delete key. And look, it was big enough for Excel to take over and do that. Um, I'm not sure why uh, it just didn't do it for you originally, but uh, that's another option for you to try. If uh, none of those are working for you, the third thing that you can do um, is go over and modify your really long names that you have on your horizontal uh, axis. Uh, you can shrink them by abbreviating, but also another thing that you can do is you can come in and you can modify this by doing an alt enter that's a hard return and you will see that it shrinks it uh, or it because it's now forcing the wrap in the different chart area that you might have so you can just go in and select some text do a space uh, and do alt enter and if you keep doing it so i'm just selecting the text hitting alt enter and putting a hard return let's do it a few more places so that you can see it and you can do this as much as you like. You can do it on every single uh, word, every other word, um, whatever ends up working for you. And you can kind of see they're not overlapping as much. If they are still overlapping too much, um, you can come in here, like I say, and uh, add in some extra hard returns uh, as you see fit. And you'll see that that's fitting a lot better in there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the next one. So we've got this is another really long division name. This is a long division. Um, you can see it's going to start to fit them and wrap for you like you might get if you continue to expand um, the chart. You just may not have that option in some of your layouts. So the third option is you may want to go ahead and put in that hard return in there. All right. Once again, this is uh, Steve Equals True over at Excel-BoardTemplates.com. Please head on over there and learn some other great tips and tutorials. Learn everything about Excel. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to see the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.